Howdy, survivors! Welcome back to another build tutorial in Ark Survival Ascended. Today, we're building a Western themed stables using the Frontier skins from the new DLC pack Bob's Tall Tales. Um, but you can also, of course, use different materials if you want to. It is a nicely sized stable where you can house a couple of different dinos, smaller dinos in the little stables on the sides and even some medium-sized dinos in the middle of the stable design if you like these build tutorials and you want to see more make sure you're subscribed and of course if you want to support even more you can always consider becoming a member tier 2 members actually get early access to all of my videos let's get to building of course we want to get started with the foundation and you want to start with placing a 6x4 foundation for the main middle bit of the building. Um, best to do then in a place where you actually have a somewhat flat terrain where you can place only foundations because in my experience dinos have a less glitchy experience on foundations than on normal ceilings. So. So we can fill in this entire uh, 6x4 foundation. Then we're going to go to the sides and then one from the end. We'll have two going out on both of the ends and then just fill that all in. So it's a 2x4 basically where the actual stables are going to be located. And we're going to do that on both sides. So you want to make sure that in my experience and for the best results have at least this foundation completely out of actual foundations and not like pillars and ceilings because dinos tend to glitch a little bit more on those then we want to take out our gate and we can place them at the back here and at the front of the stables because obviously this is the way to access the stables and i like to do them on both sides well while i'm doing this tutorial there's no really anywhere to go from the back but Normally, it's nice that you can access your stables from both the front and the back, in my opinion. But of course, if you don't want that, you can also just have a regular wall on one side. So that is our shape to get started with. Then we want to start by placing some walls. First off, place one wall over there. Two walls right over here. Two more walls right there. And one wall over there. Of course... We want to do the same on the other side as well, just to make it all nice and easy. And then we want to have two walls next to each other on these side bits as well to start working on these tables that are going to be here. Then we'll take out some quarter walls and place four of them right there. And we'll do that on all of these corners just to make it more easy for ourselves. And once we've got that, we want to place a normal wall on top of that again. There we go. So you have a shape like this right now. Then we can have four windows right here. And then we'll do four windows here on top as well. And of course, we'll do the same thing on the other side as well. Just having the windows everywhere. And of course, we want to fill them in with actual windows so that we can just change these skins later on and also here next to the gate we want to have two of these windows and of course we'll do the same on the back side as well fill in the windows again to make it all nice and complete so already our stables is coming together quite nicely then we want to grab more quarter walls, place them on top of this one and of course do that on both sides of the building just to start filling them in a little bit. We'll take out our sloped walls and we'll start with a little shape like this. It's easier to do this on both sides so you can just copy everything we do. Then we want to place two walls temporarily so that we can add in another sloped wall right here and there to complete this kind of shape then we're going to take this one out we can place the normal shape there remove this last one so we can fill in the rest of the shape like normal so you want to have it only consisting of sloped walls instead of the normal walls so here we'll do the same place these walls down temporarily start placing our slope walls like so 
remove these temporary walls and then just place the sloped walls in so we create this little shape and once we start changing the skins to the frontier pack this will look very very nice indeed we'll start adding in some pillars as well right here on the corner going all the way down to the bottom same right here want to make sure that we have another pillar going there on this corner as well and we'll just go around the build adding in all these pillars just to have some extra support and also just for a little bit of extra detail in your build a little bit of extra depth this creates um, and the pillars in the frontier skins look really nice anyway so it's a very nice addition to any build then we'll actually also add pillars in right here next to the gate all the way up to the top as well and then of course we do the same here on the other side always mirror it in this build and then we want to switch to beams and we'll add in beams everywhere except for where the gates are of course so we'll just go around the build adding in these beams to add in another little layer of depth support just looks nice in my opinion so we'll just slowly but surely make our way around and place all the beams in so slowly but surely we're getting there we'll start uh, working on the roofs a little bit we'll add in a little layer of these quarter ceilings right along the edge of our walls and we'll do that on both sides of course so just go along add in this little ledge that we'll use as some extra snap points for the roof in a little bit speaking of roofs we're gonna first add them in here for these side buildings and this is also why we have these quarter walls here because now we have this snap point so we have a little bit of an overlap here on the side portion of the build and we can just extend or ramps all the way across to create our little roof like so and then i like to add in the beam at the end as well just to finish off this shape the only downside to this is that we'll have some gaps here there is a way to actually place down some railings like alongside the ramps but obviously right now the snap point would be here so if you want to do that as well first off you'll have to remove this ramp for this to work you'll have to either have snapping enabled or overlapping enabled like so so you can overlap them and we can still add in the other ramp later or you don't have any over overhang on the side and you just have it end like this normally if you don't have that and then we can add in these railings down here to kind of fill in the gap a little bit before adding back the ramps to make the overhang happen if you can't overlap i would i would prioritize the overhang i think that adds more detail than um getting rid of the gaps because unfortunately we do not have a quarter sloped wall or a um, less steep sloped wall that fits in here so i would do the same on both sides of course just because a little bit of extra support fills in the gap nicely and just looks a little bit better in my opinion so just go ahead and quickly fill in that and then add in the ramps back again but yeah you will have a little bit of overlapping here and then we do the exact same thing that we did right here on the other side as well and after that we should have the stables looking like this so slowly but surely it's getting there it's getting together quite nicely and then to continue to work on the roof i would switch back to normal roofs here and this is why we have these quarter ceilings because then you have a lot more snap points for the roof you want to try and get this snap point right here on the corner so you can have a nice little roof which has a slight overhang on the front so we want to do both of these and then you should just be able to continue the roof all the way across until the other side and just fill it all in without any issues so we'll do that of course here on the other side as well and there we go that is the roof right now then what i like to do for a little bit of extra shape add in some ramps at the bottom here of the roof just to get a little bit more shape in the roof which i think fits this western frontier style really really well it's like a um almost a small barn shape 
just looks really a little bit nicer than keeping it normal and then to add in a little bit of extra detail i like to add in some beams here at the end and here on top of the roof as well just to get a little bit of that texture in there and um, especially in the frontier skin this just looks really really nice now the outside here is done but we still have some work here on the inside first of all we want to start by placing down some ceilings we want to find the right snap points connect these up and then just go around and this way besides being a stable you could also park some flyers up here um, just like in the attic of your stable room just gives you a little bit of extra space just fly them in there like so or you could just hide a little bit of storage up here maybe add a ladder somewhere if you wanted to you could have like a hatch frame instead in one of these corners and easily be able to go up and down then it's time to work on these side bits to actually make the stables we'll add in a nice beam here across the top we'll do that on both sides of course we'll add in a nice support here in the middle as well and then the thinner pillars here in between like so on both sides of course and then actually we want to just be able to change the skins for these thin ones because it's easier to do without other structures being there then we want to take out the double doorways and just place them all across just to create our stable doors and of course we want to make sure that there is a little bit of separation between our animals so we'll add in some quarter walls like so between each of the different rooms and then i like to do one layer of railings on top as well just to make it look a little bit nicer so we'll do that on both sides of course just to create a couple of different rooms of course you could have bigger ones if you want to keep some slightly bigger dinos in here for like horses which fits very well with the western theme this is perfect of course and then of course we want to add in the doors here everywhere as well now we're pretty much done we have to start changing the skins first off i like to use the saloon doors in here for the stable doors just because i think the look is the best for it and then what i also like to do is take out the glass texture and fill them in right there and right here that's why we made the complicated shape and then of course the actual windows for all of these we want to make sure that they are glass as well because they are some of the best textures for this type of window don't forget you have them at the back of each of the stables as well so we just want to make sure that we have all those skins done that's the just the start of course because there's many more to change but all the other things you can just change to the normal frontier wood structures and then when you change all the skins to the frontier pack it should look something like this which is a lot better of course one last thing that we want to add here on the inside now that everything looks nice is some of these supports with the scaffolding and then the yeah triangle variation because it just looks a little bit nicer this way and um, yeah looks like proper supports i'm really liking this new structure that they've given us because it's really nice to use for things like this just having some support beams across your design now one last thing you might want to add in is some ramps at the front and the back and depending on your actual landscape you might have to add some more you would have at least these two but in my case i would have to add some extra here and i think even some extra here on the front as well but at least two at the front two at the back you'll have to use for sure and then of course if you want to make them match with the rest you'll change the skins as well and that is pretty much it for the entire stables there we go they are completed very nice little stable design to keep some of your smaller to medium sized teams free from harm we'll do a quick little tour of these stables that i've built here in my town as well so those are the ones we just made for the tutorial but this one is the one that i designed in the first place i've got some of the decoration here on the outside from the western decor mod from aaron longstaff if you're wondering how i got all these cool custom items 
Um, but that's just details on the outside. The inside is completely the one that we've made. So you have a decent amount of space here for some different teams. You can easily have them in here. And of course, in the middle, you can also park some stuff if you want to. And then you could have some small flyers up there in the attic as well, which just looks really, really nice in my opinion. It's just a nice, small, simple, stable design that you should be able to build relatively easily but it does the trick and it will keep your dinos a little bit safer hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial if you did don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one goodbye